Okay, guys. So, this lady, her name is 5150. That's her channel name. And she was exercising her constitutional rights to film in public. The police come out and they ask for her name and she asserts her rights. This is part one of this video. So this is why I always encourage you to film the police because there's nothing wrong with exercising your first amendment rights in public. Freedom of the press is very important because without it, you can't hold these police officers accountable. Even if the courts lets them go with the not guilty verdict, at the end of the day, the video shows exactly what happened. And at the end of the day, we all know what happened. That's why it's, a, it's very encouraging that every, 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 every interaction you have with law enforcement, you film it. All right. Every interaction you have with the police, you film it. So always from the police and go to News Now Omaha on Facebook and give a brother a follow and uh, check out my Patreon. I'll put the link in it in the description with including the original link. I'm out, guys. Peace. <coughs> Wait, man, I can't hear you. Okay. I'm sorry, what did you say now? How you doing today? I'm good, how are you? MTA don't allow you to take pictures on their property unless you have authorization to do so. I'm on public property. Huh? I'm on public property. MTA Metro Transit Authority. You see, this is public. Sidewalks, visitor parking. This is where the public is. I haven't gone beyond your restricted access. Okay. Can I have your name and employee number? Why are you needing that information? Well, do you work for the city or the county? I work for the MTA, right? Well, that's the city, right? Mm -hmm. The city? Well, then if you're asking me questions, you should identify yourself. I mean, that's your policy. Thank you. I cannot see that. And your ID, please? I don't have one. You don't have an ID? No. I don't need one to take pictures. I'm sorry, what is your last name? I can't read it from here. I have to call you. Okay. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. 300 to 100. Now, I did cross right here. Now, that's because you invited me to. Lieutenant, I have a lady out here taking pictures of, of, of the building, and she's on. Um, Claiming she's on public property, she's taking pictures, and she wants my ID and all that information for me. And I asked her for her ID, and she refused. You Is she on the property? Public property. Parking lot. She was taking pictures in the parking lot. Bella, she's unauthorized to do that part, I know. Okay. Ask Trump to build you a great big wall. Yeah. Well, she's not causing them disturbing anything. She's just taking pictures. I wasn't aware of MTA policy. I'm a citizen in the parking lot. This is her reply to your question. I am a citizen and I am in the parking lot on the sidewalk in public taking pictures. No matter what your policy is, there's no law against it. <laughs> Yeah, I do. You need to leave. No. Okay, now who answered that question? Who was that? Who was it? What'd they say? This is love. She needs to leave. Call Metro. Have her and escort it. Escort it. Wait, wait a minute now. She's on a sidewalk, Brad. That's public property. Right. But if she's on the premise, she does not have a right to be on the premise taking pictures. What sidewalk is she on? 
Next to the flags. Excuse me on the flag, sir. Okay, and it's that MTA property is not public property. You've figured out now by now you're wrong, right? I mean, inside yeah. of yourself, not them. But I, you're I, getting I, it by now, right? I say you're not being it's public disturbed. property. It's public property. I'm saying you're not being disturbed. Yeah. Now I'm just taking pictures. What you want to do next. I'm you not going anywhere. I'm going to keep taking leave? pictures. You're going to take your pictures and leave? Well, eventually you, I'll leave, yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to take pictures before I leave. So you're going to leave? Eventually, I don't plan on living here. Okay. You refuse to give identification. Correct. That's correct. <laughs> I didn't see your name. What was your last name? Go, go Lieutenant. Is she still there on the premise? Yep. At this present time, she's at the guard shack and I'm talking to me and I'm letting her know about the room. No, I'm not going anywhere. That's not true. I'm not going to leave. That what I informed her of is she listening to this uh, broadcast and she said that she is not going to do nothing but take our picture. Oh, well, then you need to call Metro, there you go. Tell them to put on their lights. Send like four or five cars with lights and sirens flying here over somebody taking pictures of our flags on this campus that our we pay for. She's arguing with me now. Arguing? I was explaining. Well, if you took that as arguing, I apologize. Okay. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to feel like I was arguing. Well, she's taking pictures of the bus stop. You better tell them to hurry. We need lights, sirens, everything. It's an emergency. So all this is for the general public to park. So you can park here, catch the bus to go into the city. That's pretty nice. Okay, the police are behind me, up there talking to the guy in the guard shack. I'm good, how you doing? Can I get your name and employee number? Ford. Ford? I'm saying Ford. Because you were talking to me. Okay, my name's Officer Quinn. Quinn? Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, these fine gentleman over here I guess asked you to leave the property and you won't leave the property they asked me what I was taking video of and I said I'm taking pictures of the flags walking down the sidewalk in the parking lot taking pictures of the complex walked over here at this art exhibit for the public on the public sidewalk and I went up to the door to see what hours that you were open 
walked up to the bus stop up there and took pictures of the routes on the signs for the public to read and took pictures. So the guy asked me, what are you doing? And I told him what I was doing, told him all what I was doing. And he said it's against their policy. And I'm like, policy isn't the same as law. My policy is I can take pictures in public. That's the law. So I haven't bothered him at all. But when he talked to me, I talked back to him and told him what I was doing. But he didn't like it. And people he was talking to on this little walkie talkie, looking all official, said it wasn't okay. So then he said he was calling the police. And I said, well, I'm gonna finish taking my pictures of the flags and everything around here, but I'm gonna leave when I'm done, so. Okay, so you just wanna walk up and down <clears throat> this property and this? Yeah, cause it's public property. I'm not going beyond restricted areas or anything. You so. just wanna take videos and pictures? Yeah, that's it. So I don't know if y'all needed sirens or anything to get here over such a threat, but I don't know. Who had sirens going? Nobody. I joked with him. I said, are they going to come with sirens and everything over someone taking pictures? Oh, uh, is there a reason why you're recording me? Because you're talking to me. Oh, okay. It seems to become a common thing. What's a common thing? Taking pictures while you interact with police now. I guess. Yeah. Uh, more and I've more. I've yet to encounter that. Um, well, just know that that's private property, and if you're asked to leave by security, you have to go, okay? That's well, the public right, right, sidewalk right. and the flags, all of this, if you look at the GIS survey, this is all for the city. This is public. I can come park here, walk there, catch the bus Did there. Did you park here? Take flags, no. Did you Take pictures here? of the flags, yeah. Where do you uh, live at? Not here. Do you live in Madison? I don't want to give out my personal information. Okay, do you have your ID on you just so I know who I'm talking to? No. No? All right. Okay. Need anything Continue else? On. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> there was a guy named Quinn in Homeland. He was sexy.